Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you a Soul Lovers and Separation pick a card. Um, we have lots of messages in these decks here um, coming out. There are three decks, Pile 1, which is the Clear Quartz, Pile 2, which is the Black Onyx, and Pile 3, which is the Citrine. I will put the stones a little closer in a moment. But um, these are this read is for people who are separated from their soul partner. So this could be your soulmate, a twin flame, um, a divine counterpart, however you kind of categorize it in your head. This could be someone from a past life or from the present life that you're not with. So it's up to you to take uh, what you want from this reading, um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, um, or pick another pile. So we'll see what we get into. I never do look at the cards beforehand. Um, we'll see what pops out. Hopefully they kind of make sense. Like I said, there's going to be a lot, a lot of messages. There will be timestamps below. Thank you so much for watching too, guys. I appreciate you coming here. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to move. Oh, no, we're not going to get started yet. So I have the clear quartz for pile one. So clear quartz is pile one. The black onyx for pile two. And the citrine for pile three. All right, guys. So now I'm going to move the piles back. So we're going to get started. Um, I got a couple tarot cards and then just a lot, a lot of message cards. I also have an oracle card. So let's see what we have for the clear quartz. Okay, so pile one is the clear quartz. Yeah, you can still see that. Okay, I'll probably have to move it, but <laughs> I'm just going to move it because it's going to be in my way. All right, so what we're going to do is look at the tarot first. So... Oh, pile one. Oh, well, 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 wait a minute. Okay, so pile one, um, clearly there is a lot of sadness in this connection. There's been heartbreak. Um, I see actually a lot of really nice things. You have three major arcanas in this five card spread, which is very nice, actually. We do have the three of swords here, which is heartbreak and sadness. So I feel like your person is, is feeling heartbroken and sad. Uh, they might not be currently heartbroken and sad about your situation, but I feel like this is something that weighs heavy on them. I don't think that they have stopped living their lives, but I think that they um, definitely have feelings of sadness and potential regret even when they think about your connection. Um, so there's definite sadness in this connection. And there definitely was an ending, right? We have the death card here with a rebirth. So um, you definitely could have ended... Or I'm sorry, there was definitely an ending between the two of you. But I kind of feel I kind of feel like your person might be ending something with someone else, which is causing some sadness and pain um, in their current situation. So you can take what resonates with you, but I feel like your person might be ending something. They really do feel as if um you they are your emperor or you are their emperor depending on how um, the roles resonate here. So this is a very um, authoritative, protective kind of father figure. Um, you know, the he's kind of like a boss. The emperor is the divine masculine energy. Um, I feel like he is ready to take a leap um, of faith and come towards you. And definitely with the magic stick being here, here <laughs> um, wants a passionate new start. So I do think that he's coming back around. I'm going to just clarify this fool card. I feel like um, I think this counterpart of yours is definitely coming back around. Let me just see what the fool card is. Is it going to be what kind of action is it going to be with this fool card? Because they're, they're ready to take a leap forward. They're optimistic. They're... Um, overly optimistic they want to start new they want to take a chance they're ready to take that jump and they're coming with the magic stick so let's see what the fool card means here the empress the king of swords and the ace of pentacles yeah for sure so this person sees you as their counterpart we have the emperor and the empress i mean it doesn't get much better than that. So they see you as the empress. They're they're willing to take a leap forward to you because they feel like you're their empress. They feel like you're abundance. You are their other half. You are um, nurturing, caring, empathetic, sympathetic. Um, you multiply everything. Uh, you're compassionate. They're coming direct. Uh, with the king of swords energy, they are going to be communicating with you. There's going to be a lot of direct communication. Um, they're going to talk to you about how they want this new stable start. But don't forget, we have passion as well. So a new stable start um, that is committed, that is loyal, that is long-term. 
um, and they're going to be direct. So I think they're going to be giving you lots of messages. They're going to be communicating clearly what it is that they want. Um, I feel like this is truly <laughs> going to be an intense connection that is going to come back together with the Emperor and the Empress. I do. I am pulling the next three sets of cards are from Twin Flame or uh, from Mystic Moon Oracles. I have the Twin Flame Journey Oracle, so we're gonna get three cards from there. We have forgiveness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't have a page of cups here, but I feel like um, your emperor might be coming and asking for forgiveness. Purge and vibrations. So I, I do with this vibration cards too. Uh, and purge even. I feel like you have been kind of trying to get through your feelings about this situation and put them to the side a little bit and, and not have them consume you. I feel like you're trying to purge what doesn't serve you. And I think your your counterpart might be picking up on the energy of you feeling like you need to move away. But I also think you kind of you guys kind of have these vibrations with one another. Um and you pick up on that vibration of what the other person is doing. So I think they're picking up on your vibrations of kind of purging, getting rid of stuff that's no longer serving you, um, you know, kind of paring down um, your thoughts and your expectations, because I think you feel like this is not coming back around. But your person is probably going to be coming back and asking for forgiveness. That he, They want to restart with this Ace of Wands energy, and they want to be a fool and jump towards you. All right, so the next decks I have are the Twin Flame Journey Messages from Mystic Moon Oracle Volume 1 and Volume 2. So we'll get some messages from there and see. Um, I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. Conclusions. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Yep. Well, they're going to be asking for forgiveness, and I don't know how I feel anymore. I feel like um, this could potentially be you. Um, I feel like you might not know how you feel anymore um, because I feel like you're kind of giving up on the situation. But I think that your person senses that and they're going to start to cling on a little bit more. <laughs> Come back, what, what, whatever, what have you. All right, so we also have the Twin Flame Journey Messages Volume 2 from Mystic Moon Oracles. Um, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Again, I kind of feel like that's your energy. Um, I miss the feel of you next to me. And I care too much about what others think right now. Yeah, so I feel like if your person is potentially ending a situation to come towards you, they might be concerned about um, what other people might think or feel about them. They might have some reservations about that situation. Um, we have the Hidden Truth, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Edition from All Things Intuitive. Um, do I still have a chance? Yeah, I think they kind of want to know that before they come and I want you back. Um, so I think your person is kind of doing this fight between their head and their heart, right? <laughs> they want you back. But they have to end something or they're ending something with someone else. They're a little bit worried about what people might feel or think about them. Um, you're kind of on the fence like, I don't know if I want this anymore. Um, but I think your counterpart's coming back to ask for forgiveness. And I think you wouldn't be watching this video if you weren't considering someone coming back. The next few cards we have are the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages. Oh, see, your family won't like me. So maybe that's, they care about uh, what others might think too much. I'm in so much pain. Yeah, I do feel like this, this partner is um, definitely ending something painful. And then light. I feel like they see you as the light. I've never seen this card in this deck. Um, I feel like they see you as the light and they know you're the light and they know they want to be with you and they know they screwed things up horribly. Um, and they're trying to figure out how to get back into this light. And they're questioning, do I still have a chance? I want you back. So, <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to get a connection lost somewhere in time. Twin flames and soulmates messages for my lost love from angelic revelation 144. You'll get over it. People say you'll get over him or her eventually. It has been many years ago and I'm still not over you. That makes me think of not over you by Gavin. I think it's Gavin DeGraw. I miss you. I miss you like the deserts miss the rain. Yes, this person definitely misses you and wants you back. Okay, Flames of Truth Oracle from Angelic Revelation 144. Um, I was only going to get two cards, but this one, three popped out. So I worry that there are others who love you and can offer you more than I can. I love you so much. Please try to be patient with me and be open to me coming towards you when we have both healed. <laughs> oh, I have bought you an engagement ring. I've been keeping it. For the perfect time. 
So I feel like this person is going to be coming back kind of with their guns blazing and uh, you're going to have to figure out what to do, pile one. The last two cards for this read are You Have My Heart, Soul Lovers, and Separation. This is also from Angelic Revelation 144. So we'll see what these last two messages are for your soul lover and separation or from them to you or you to them. Um, I don't want to live without you in my life anymore. You are all I think about and I am haunted by your presence. I long to be with you. I totally feel that. <laughs> I totally feel that from these cards. Um, you can't imagine how much I love you. You're the man or woman that every man or woman desires. I know that I can count on you and I can show you that I, you can count on me too. Yeah, so this person is really, um, really wanting to be back with you. So that's pretty intense, guys. So that's going to finish up for pile one. I'm just going to put my cards away so I can get to them a little bit easier when I go to put them all away. So just give me one brief moment while I put these cards in places where I can make my life easier. All right, so that's it for pile one. Um, I hope you guys like that. If you guys want your own personal read, uh, please uh, check out my webpage that is listed below um, if you're interested in a personal read. All right, pile two was the Black Onyx. Black Onyx. Okay, guys. Black Onyx pile two. And again, we're going to start with the tarot and see what the tarot has. For soul lovers and separation... Ooh, Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Wow, guys, the first the, this one is like fire and passion and love, uh, stability, commitment. So um, I feel like, yes, this has definitely been an ending. Uh, ending cards that came up in the first one, ending cards coming up in this one. The Ten of Swords. I feel like this situation between you and your person um, has been has ended quite some time ago. I don't feel like this is like a recent disconnect. It could be. It always could be, you know, you take it how it resonates with you. But I feel like there's been a finality, finality in this ending. Like the Ten of Swords is a betrayal, backstabbing, definite ending, like a death to something. However, the death card came out in the first one. So time is really relative, rele irrelevant. Um, but definitely things have ended between the two of you. I feel like they've ended probably in a little bit of a fiery, passionate way um, because of what's here. So I feel like um, things have ended and you might feel like this is over. Uh, there's no way this is coming back around. However, there's so much passion, fiery, sexy, flirty energy. Um, there's so much love. They want to come back and offer you this new start in love, this Ace of Cups. They want to be your, they want to offer this true love. They're in love with you. They have so much passion for you. So not only do they want to kind of get with you, sexually they also want to get with you emotionally i feel like um they, they want to show up as this king of pentacles they're showing up as this king of pentacles um they want to give you a commitment they want to be loyal they want to be stable they're grounded i feel like they might have leveled up financially so they're kind of coming back together um the two of wands in this deck can represent travel so this person can be at a distance from you um they it could also be just that um this person has to decide to come towards you, right? I think um, they have a path to pick, but I think they know what they're doing. I think potentially similar to pile one, they might've ended something and they're deciding to come towards you because that's all they can think about. But um, I think they have a choice to make. You guys might be at a distance. We have a queen of wands, a king of pentacles, a, a cup, ace of cups. I mean, this is love, passion, stability, commitment. Like this is awesome, really nice energy. All right, we're going to get a couple of Twin Flame Journey Oracle cards by Mystic Moon Oracle. Oh, this one four came out. So um, we have Barrier, Muse, Twin Flame, and Settling. So what I feel like with these Oracle cards kind of clarifying, I feel like they've been settling, right? They, they tried another path. But now that path is ended. They're like, I'm not going to settle anymore. I can stay in this settled position where I feel comfortable. Um, but Or I can move past this barrier and go back to this twin flame. This person that, that I know is my person. So I feel like um, they definitely, definitely know that you're their twin flame. I think they're definitely ready to make that move towards you too. Sorry, I'm trying to keep these kind of in some kind of order. 
And they don't want to settle anymore. They want their twin flame. Nice, nice energy. Okay, so we have the twin flame journey messages from Mystic Moon Oracle, Volume 1. I'm reminded of you constantly. I can still feel you. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. <laughs> oh, yes. I feel I feel that. I feel that completely. I feel like they tried to pick a path that they thought was going to be the right path. And they, they realized that they ended up settling because they didn't have that. They didn't have you. Um, let's get a couple cards for the Twin Flame Journey messages, Volume 2 for Mystic Moon Oracle. You were special to me, even though I told you otherwise. Yeah. So when I said in the beginning, I feel like there was a fiery ending. I feel like because there's so much passion between you two, there was probably really crappy words that were exchanged. Um, or maybe it's one-sided, but I feel like it might be an exchange of crappy words. Um, I got, I just got sidetracked. Yeah, I feel like they took a different path, and that path wasn't you. Um, I'm just doing what I have to right now. And I think that is making changes and picking that path to return. So I do feel like someone's coming back to you. Do you want them to come back to you? All right. We have the Hidden Truth, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine um, edition for um, All Things Intuitive. I am in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like they that's what they're ending. I feel like they went off, married someone else, and realized what a bad decision that was. I don't want to let you go. That makes me think of like the song that pops in my head is that song Before You Go by Louis Capaldi or whatever his name is. Um, the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages. Oh, <laughs> I am terrified. I think they're terrified of losing you. They're terrified of coming back. They're terrified of ending what they've started with someone else. Um, I could be your hero, baby. I think this is supposed to represent the Six of Wands in general tarot. Not sure. But um, that's like love conquers all. It'll be victorious in love. I need time for me. That might be your response to them. Like, you know, we said all these awful words. You left. You've been doing your own thing. And now you want to come back? Hmm. I need some time for me. Just give me a second. All right. A connection lost somewhere in time. Twin flame and soulmate messages for my lost love. The next three decks are from Angelic Revelation 144. Um, memories of us. Do you think about us? How it could and how it could have been? So they want to know if you're thinking about them like they're thinking about you. Um, losing you broke my heart. I felt broken when you walked away from me. Yeah, I mean all that fire and all those rude comments. They felt broken. They still feel broken. Um, Flames of Truth Oracle Cards by Angelic Revelation 144. I'm saving up to buy you something special. I know that you are angry with me for ignoring you. I'm so frustrated with myself. Why can't I communicate with you? And I knew that we had been married in the past lifetimes the first time I saw you. So maybe that's um maybe that's a conversation you guys have had. Maybe this is an indicator of a conversation you guys have had in the past. I do feel like that you are probably angry with them for ignoring you the way they did and talking so poorly. And then they're saving up to buy you something special. So, well, I don't know if gifts work for you, but. <laughs> All right. And then the last two cards for pile two is you have my heart, soul lovers and separation from angelic 144. Um, your love makes my day, my week, my month, my year and my life. And my family doesn't understand our connection. I've told them how I feel about you and I tried to explain it, but they have particular ideas and don't understand our spiritual love. Yeah, they probably don't understand because he, this person, he or she, may be walking away from a uh, a marriage. I don't know. I feel like that's very similar to the first one. So um, you guys might have, there might be some like other kind of messages for you in the first one. The first pick, the pile, the, the clear quartz. So you check that out if you want to. All right, guys, we are going to finish this read off with pile three, the citrine. I tend to pick pile threes. I don't all the time. Um, ah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. So the citrine. I'm going to take a quick drink of my coffee, guys. So we'll get started on pile three. Sorry. I know this is a giant coffee, but I am, I'm going to be giving up coffee for Lent. Start tomorrow. So I had to go get my last fix. 
Um, I'm giving up, let me see, not say coffee. Oh, oh, I thought there was four. I'm giving up coffee drinks. I'm not giving up coffee, but coffee drinks. Okay, so what do we have for pile three? Can I get a what? What? Oh my God. Holy shit. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I swear to God, I do not look at these before or while I'm shuffling. I legitimately resonate and like meditate and say pile one, pile one, pile two, pile two, pile two, pile three, pile three, and, and pull the cards out that way and set them in piles. And I don't look at them, but this is the best effing pile in terms of the tarot cards out of these three. I can't even believe this. This just makes me completely giddy. Um, so this is a true, true, true love situation. Your person is coming back. Your person's going to be offering love. Your person's going to be perhaps proposing to you. They might start off with some messages just to kind of start getting some in there. Um, they're coming back with an apology. Holy smokes, guys. So we have the three of cups. To me, this is a reunion, a return. This is a soul connection. This is this is a connection that is so intense. It's like you guys are not only are you lovers, but you're like best friends. Like you're almost inseparable. It's like such a soul connection that when you met, your souls recognize each other. And I think if that's ever happened to you, you know how that feels. It's like nothing else. I think this person is coming back to you. This is a wedding reception, an engagement party, um, true love, soul connection. Hands down. I can't even F and believe this, guys. I'm trying not to swear. So the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you want in love. This is happily ever after. This is my heart overflows with love for you. This is soulmate energy. This is marriage. This is stability. This is um, blended families. This is children. This is the house. This is financially stable, loyal, committed, loving. This is what you want in a freaking love read. Like, I can't even, I can't even. Um, I feel like this, this has been a challenging situation with the eight of pentacles here. Um, I think it's one that has required work in the past. It will require work in the future. But this is also a true love soulmate uh, connection. This is like, um, just really, again, like a, um, a connection that's meant to be. It will take some work, but it's definitely, it's also a soulmate twin or soulmate connection. Um, the page of cups, like I said, can be romantic proposals or gestures. They could be messaging you. They could be asking you to go out for coffee. They could be uh, proposing to you. Um, but this can also be an apology. So I don't know what happened before, but if they're coming back to apologize, they're coming back to apologize and to tell you they want happily ever after with you. I feel like there's so much love here and commitment and soul, solely guided relationship. Like I can't even speak because I'm like fumbling over my words. This is amazing. Let's get into the messages guys. So we have the twin flame, um, journey Oracle cards from mystic moon Oracle healing patience and fresh start. Oh my God, you guys, I definitely feel like this has been a healing situation. I feel like we, when you weren't together, um, there was a lot of healing that needed to take place. I do think this has been one that has required patience. I kind of feel like this has been a long time coming. I feel like it's required patience on your part and their part. I almost feel like this is a situation in which you both know it's coming back together. You've known you like you've always had that resonating feeling like we'll be back together again one day. Um, but it's taken a long time and a lot of healing and a lot of work and fresh start. Oh, my goodness. They want that fresh start with you and they're willing to work on it. And you're going to be willing to work on it, too. Holy tomatoes, guys. Okay, we have the Twin Flame Journey messages from Mystic Moon Oracle. Also, this is volume one. I'm more affected than you know. Well, heck yeah. <laughs> um, I'll never forget. Oh, I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. I just wasn't ready for you. Oh, 
cool, you guys. This could have been a situation that was just overwhelming for, for one or, or both of you um, in the beginning or the timing wasn't right. I feel like this, even though we don't have like divine timing, I feel like this is a connection that that you must have just met at the wrong time. Because this is so divinely guided, it's it's not even funny. All right, let's get a couple cards from Twin Flame Journey Messages 2 from Mystic Moon Oracle. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It all comes down to timing. I cannot make this stuff up. I swear, I'm going to start videotaping myself, I think, if I can figure out how to do it, shuffling the cards out and, like, zooming through that part so people can see how I do it. Um, it all comes down to timing. What I just say? I still remember the good times we shared. And I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. Mmm. An apology, right? Ooh, guys, this is making my heart race a little bit. <laughs> I I don't know. This is this is intense. This is intense. Okay, the Hidden Truth, um, Volume Two, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, from um, Edition from All Things Intuitive. I don't know why this happened. I don't want to know. Huh. I don't know why this happened. I don't want to know. You know, maybe it's kind of just that understanding of like, we're so good together. Why has it taken us? Why? Why have we been separated? Why haven't we? Why weren't we able to work it out before? And maybe they're like, I don't even want to know. We don't even need to talk about the past. I just want this fresh start. Interesting. This kind of caught my attention that these colors are kind of similar in these cards. Yikes, guys. Okay, we're going to get a couple of hermit, excuse me, hermit tarot channeled love message cards. What do you want? <laughs> this time reminds me, I mean, this card reminds me of the notebook. What do you want? Um, oh my God, jeez, guys. I want a fresh start with you. Oh my God. The synchronicities, synchronicities are just, and look at the colors are the same. Like, holy shit. What do you want? Here's Ryan Gosling. What is it that you want? Okay. What's her name? Rachel McAdams. Make your choice. What do you want? I want a fresh start with you. I meant what I said. You matter. Good gravy tomatoes, you guys. Good gravy tomatoes. That's <laughs> such a weirdo. Okay. We're going to get uh, a connection lost somewhere in time. Twin flames and soulmates room. Oh, my message let me start over. We're going to get a, a connection lost somewhere in time. Twin flames and soulmates. Messages for my lost love by Angelic Revelation 144. No air. Living without you is like trying to live without air. How can I breathe without you? Jordan Sparks song. No air. Chris Brown. Memory. Our love is a treasured memory that is kept hidden deep within my heart and soul. Yeah, well, I don't think it's going to stay hidden very long. All right, guys. Um, Flames of Truth Oracle by Angelic Revelation 144. And then the last card deck we have is also by Angelic Revelation 144. So let's see what we have. Um, I just want to be able to spend time with you and get to know you intimately. I feel like you guys probably already know each other intimately. Or maybe not. <laughs> um, who would have thought that life could be so complicated for us. It seems that everything is working against us right now. Yeah, I feel like that is maybe like, I don't know why this happened. Why is this so hard? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't know why it's so hard. I'm sorry. I just want a fresh start with you. Good. Gravy to me. It's okay, guys. We're going to get the last two messages for pile three. Um, you have my heart, soul lovers, and separation from Angelic Revelation 144. I stopped believing in love, but after seeing your smile, I became a believer again. I love you with all my mind, my heart, soul, and body. I love you not only for your beauty, but for your soul. Our love will be alive forever because of the way you are pure true authentic real raw and passionate Woo. 
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed these pickup piles. I really did. <laughs> I don't think there was a bad pile in the in the, the um, cards, but if you want a personal read, there is a link to the description box. I can't. I'm all frazzled. If you want a personal read, there is a description box below and in there is a link to my personal page. Um, if you're interested, click on that and it'll tell you how to get a read. I appreciate you guys so much for coming to my channel and watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this read and thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Pile 3. So apparently I missed a card. I just noticed it was face down. If you watch the end of my video, you'll probably see it. It was like right here. But um, let me just give you this last one. It says, I haven't replied because I don't want to let you down again. I need to show you I can love you so you can believe it. So that might resonate with you guys for Pile 3. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I was just so excited about the rest of the read. But thanks, guys, again for watching. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.